thank you so much, Joyce Breton, for this. Joyce, you out there? I think I unmuted it. So am I on? Because you know me with technology. I'm not good. You're there, Joyce. And Joyce is also the mother of our beloved Jesse James Jamnick, our ER Shred Nutrition Ambassador. So I want to acknowledge you for that as well, because you gave us Jesse and we all love I'm the that. one who raised the fat kid. <laughs> he he's always, a you know what he has to put that in there i was always raised the fat kid so i will take credit for that <laughs> hey you loved him you just kept giving it to him you loved him it's a <laughs> if you don't eat that whole bag of oreos tonight then you're not watching any tv <laughs> <laughs> well i'm sure uh knowing jesse the way that i know jesse we don't need to go there but I'm sure he was a handful. He is a handful, and we just love the hell out of him. He's so much fun, and he's also quite brilliant. Joyce Breton, am I stating your last name correctly, Breton? Breton, yep. Breton, where are you calling from? I am calling from Rhode Island. Rhode Island, and I think I, we all know who shared ER Shred with you. We're going to skip that one. Uh, what is your passion? My passion is... Um, I do a, a lot of crafts, like your yeah, shred sign. I do a lot of craft fairs in my family. Ah, uh, beautiful, beautiful. So, Joyce, and my um, friends on ER shred. That's what have you I'm you've saying. made a lot of friends in ER shred. I, I I have more friends in ER shred than I have in person. What do you think? That, what do you think that's about? Why do you think that is? I, well, I think it's because um, I just like to listen to their stories because it makes me think a lot. Um, I like to look at their recipes because I'm such a creature of habit, Sean. Mm -hmm. I could eat the same thing every single day for the rest of my life and I'd be happy. Yeah. I mean, I mean so- There's I power, there's immense power and strength in simplicity. Yeah, and, and it's so funny because like, I, I will say a couple, like when I, um, Unfortunately, distance with Jesse in North Carolina, me in Rhode Island, I mean, we don't get to see each other in person that often. But when I see him, he'll be, Mom, just keep it simple. And it took me a long time to figure that out. And now I figured it out because it's like I wake up in the morning and I say, okay, are we having hamburger, steak, roast? What are we having for dinner tonight? And then they'll say whatever they want. And then um, I'll pick a vegetable and it's like, boom, done. Now I'm done for the day. Easy. Easy. Simple. Yeah. Easy. I don't to think. We need to, we need to dig a little bit. Um, I saw your post. Your post was celebrating a significant milestone, right? I hope everybody will go look up the post and read it and celebrate well, Voices <laughs> milestone. It was such a great post. Tell us what that was about. Well, because my one year anniversary Mother's Day is what, tomorrow? It's been... Mother's Day better not be tomorrow. I, I should no, hope Sunday, not. Sunday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. If Mother's Day is tomorrow, I'm in a world of hurt. <laughs> I, I don't even know what day it is half the time. But Mother's <laughs> Day is Sunday. So my journey started the day after Mother's Day. Mm. And what... That what sounds I, appropriate. That sounds uh, very fate-like. And what I, what I have to say is things like if, if I like my medical things and how I got to do the shred is only about myself and my family. I'm not claiming anybody else will get the results or anything that I've gotten. Yeah. And we um, never claimed it with any diseases. We don't, we don't right. make claims. So thank you for that. And it was um, when Jesse would come to Rhode Island. Um, well, first he called me and he says to me, Mom, if I if I give you some money, can I borrow your car for the weekend? I'm like, what do you mean give me some money? You're my son. Of course you can have my car. I have another car. I'm not going to charge you to use my car. But the best thing was about it, Sean, is I got a full tank of gas when it came back to me. So that was even better. <laughs> <laughs> and then Good one boy. Morning, Good boy. One morning, um, you know, he was in the house and I came down. You know, him and this crass, uh, uh, this kid... Even when he was little, I swear he only slept two hours and 20 and 24. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this Monday morning comes at 4 a.m. whenever he's home. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. 
and and I one day morning I came downstairs and he goes to me, Mom, did you just fall down? And I said, Yeah, I did. I said, I was trying to put my socks on, okay? And that is the God's honest truth. I was trying to put my if you look at that first picture of me, I had enough of rolls to stop my own bakery, okay? <laughs> I did. And and then I said, Yes, I did. So we're driving to the airport. And um, he says to me, mom, you really look like hell. He goes, you really need to do something. He goes, uh, I'm really worried. He goes, and unfortunately. And what I love, what I love about that, let me just say this. It's such a no nonsense uh, approach. And, and a lot of our culture in ER shred is born of that, you know, and it's born of Jesse and, and Heather and Susan, they're all very no nonsense. So I just love that he could communicate to you like that. And unfortunately, two members of, of my family um, got very ill. Mm. And I, I'll just I'll just leave it at that. And it's like my husband lost his job. I lost my job. And it's like when he told me that that morning, I, I was just silent. And lots of times I would go on and watch ER Shred um, videos and stuff, and I would just cry. And I and I said to myself, I have the will to do this, and capital letters, and I will find a way to make this happen. And I needed it for my mental health. I mean, I was physically, mentally, financially stressed out to the max, where I would have like doc- four doctor's appointments in one day. I'd be like, I, I just I just can't do this anymore. I mean, I was always angry. I was mean. I was sad. I was depressed. I had anxiety. It was like, I, I didn't know whether I was coming or going. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, how am I going to do this? So I, first of all, I, I, I cut out buying all the chips, buying all the cookies. I don't know, but if anybody's looked at that recently, but they're like five and six dollars a bag. Mm-hmm. That adds a lot in your grocery bill. So yeah. I started out by, by, by doing that. And I said to myself, what is the purpose of doing the 11 day shred if I can't buy the stuff that I need to follow up after the 11 day shred? So what I wanted to say is I'm sure there's other people out there like myself. And what I want to say is please don't give up on yourself. It took me six months, Sean to mm-hmm. save up five, I, my number in my head that I had was $500. Mm-hmm. So it took me six months to save up that money. And then on Mother's Day last year, um, my, my two children who I gave life to, gave life to their mom. And the way they did it was they gave me what I needed to do my first shred because that was the point that I was at. And I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't even explain how much that meant to me. I was just so excited. And it's like the very next day, I mean, I do my shopping by picking the three, the flyers that I get in the mail, the three top stores. And if there's no, no grass fed butter, I mean, grass fed butter um, or grass fed beef, I don't buy any of that. And I'll be honest with you, since I've been doing ER shred, my grocery bill, you people are going to, uh, and they're not going to believe it, is $65 is what I plan for groceries a week. So if there's no meat on sale, I only buy my vegetables for the week. And Jeffrey's fruit, he likes strawberries and blueberries. And what I have left over, I put in the, I put in an envelope because I know once a month, Stop and Shop is going to have grass-fed ribeyes on sale. When they're not on sale, they're $9.00. When they're on sale, they're six twenty nine. So when they're on sale, I take all my extra money that I have in my envelope, and I I go and probably buy fifteen steaks and like ten. Packages <laughs> yeah, like, you're such a shredder. I love it. I, I am. I mean, I love it, man. And I, and I love it. I love that you. I love that you value that. Like I love that you want to invest in that, and that's your hard earned, hard save money. I don't know if you can do that very well. But my freezer is like, I want to say three quarters full the beginning of the month. That's how far in advance I got. I so and, dig it. You value and, your health. And in my my 
um, my snack food thing, I, I think um, right now, like five canvases ahead of what I need. Good job. Because it's like, I'll go to the store and I'll be like, no, nah, you don't really need that shirt. Put it, just put it back and, and say, you know, get an extra can of um, Isoline Pro. Yeah. So, um, and, and that's what I do. And that's how I, I am ahead. And like I said, I'm such a creature of habit. It's not a big deal to me. It's very simple. Yeah. Hey, boys. When I started, I was 240 pounds. Okay. I was a size 20 in women's. And then I, then I, my mental health started getting better. And I was like, wow. It's like, like, cause sometimes I got to make decisions. Boom. Like that on, on a snap. If I get a phone call. So I, I'm like, wow, I mean, I can really think better. I was like, what's going on here? And it's like, I'm not so angry as I used to be. I, I have a, a lot more patience now. And it's like, wow, my knees don't hurt anymore. And it's like, I can sleep at night. And then I, I'm, I would never look in the mirror. Okay. And then um, I know I want to say probably about four months of doing um, maintenance um, because I, I had only done one tread. I, and then and I just do maintenance. So, and then I'm, I have the courage now and using crystal strength, I'm going to say this, and I am going to toot my own horn tonight, Sean, like yeah. you have said in the past. Every morning I get up, I look in the mirror and I'm like, good morning, sunshine. Aren't you looking beautiful today? And yeah. I'm like, and then I, then I just got to stand there and, you know, and I got to do, you know, do this and turn around and so, you know, <laughs> Sean, I really do this. I so freaking love it, man. Love. I, you don't realize you're actually making me cry a little bit because I think it's, uh, it's beautiful. That's beautiful stuff right there. Everybody, like, should, everybody should be doing it. And I have finally sent my butt and my gut on vacation. And I have no plans on visiting them anytime soon. And so I started at 240. I now weigh, you ready for this? Yeah. I haven't weighed myself in a long time. I think it's, I think it was three weeks ago. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I looked in the mirror and I, and, and I was, and I'm looking at myself and I'm like, and I see the scale and I'm like, like the scale is talking to me, like, just step on me. Will you just sit, just step on me. So I stepped on the scale, Sean, I weigh 157 pounds. Oh my God. Is that nine eighty nine pounds? Is that what that is? I, I don't know how many pounds that is. I, I don't count pounds. I don't count inches. I don't count steps. Yeah. And in my exercise, you are in your sweater. Many videos that I, that I go to. I mean, this, the, the, but they, I have certain ones that, I, that really get to me. Like, if I feel like having a Butterfinger candy bar, there's a picture of Heather on one of her videos that has a face like, don't you dare put that in your mouth. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, I, I won't even do it. I'll yeah. just throw the candy bar out. And, and then there's like, and it had, like I said, it all started when I saw the video of you and Crystal, like I've said before, with Crystal said, sitting next to you saying, better days are coming. Yeah, better hang, days in are coming. hang in there, yeah. I, I still have the same amount of stress in my life that mm -hmm. I don't think will ever change. But now it's just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. So after I get done it and marrying myself in the mirror, I go downstairs and the favorite part of my morning, okay, is boom, pushing that button on the bullet. That's one of my favorite things to do, right? As like pushing that button on the bullet to have my shake. Yeah. And, it's, and it's like, then I look at the calendar and see what I have to do for the day. And I'll be honest with you, I don't want muscles as big as my head, as big as Jesse's arm. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're, you're, you're different. Listen, I'm, I'm happy because. This is incredible, Sean. I'm going to stand up. Yeah. You know, all, all you can buy now, right, is yeah. these high-waisted pants, right? And I'm like, how oh, the hell am I going to – this is those high-waisted jeans. And, and it's like I would never wear colors. And it's like 
I'm like, okay. And then I would go to the store when I had extra money to buy jeans. And it's like, the last time I bought jeans, they were a size 11 in juniors. And I zipped them all the way up. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I, I, I can zip them up and my stomach's not in my way. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, I, I think ER Shred to me helped me from the inside out, not from the outside in. Because it cured my inside first. Mm -hmm. And then I started seeing myself losing weight. And that gave me even more, more strength and more courage and more feeling better about myself. Mm -hmm. I felt like a piece of crap. I, and I felt like I was Man. very mean to people, very mm -hmm. angry with people. And, and I apologize, you know, publicly on, on EL Shred. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so sorry. If I ever hurt your feelings or ever hurt you, me. I, I really didn't mean to. Me? Uh, huh? Me? Me. No, I, I said, I, no, I, I just put it out there to like all my friends and stuff on, on Facebook. Oh, that's beautiful, Joy. So go ahead and say that again. I'm sorry. I, what I, I put a post on, 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 um, um, Facebook mm -hmm. that, um, you know, cause I, all my friends would say, Oh my God, look at you. You look amazing. And how are you doing this? And I, and I, I tell them ER shred, um, look it up on Facebook. And then they'll send me a message and say, well, you're just saying that cause your son's the, the nutritionist. And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, that's not why I'm saying it. You asked me why I'm so happy. Why I'm always laughing, how I look so good. I told you, I said, I, I'm not, you know, saying that you have to do that, but that's how I'm doing it. That's how I, how I got where I'm at right now. Yeah. And, and that's the most amazing thing for me is, I mean, I, I wake up happy. Um, I sleep all night. Um, I, I don't know, Sean, it's just, I feel like a whole different person. I don't feel like the same person I was. And the yeah. post that, that I put on on Facebook was um, to all of my, my, my friends and, and family and stuff. I am so sorry if I ever was very mean to you or if I hurt you in any way. Um, I didn't mean it. Um, it was just what I was going through and how stressful and how heavy a, a load I, was, I, I carry. And I apologize. And... That's the only thing I can do. I can't go back and change it because it already happened. So I'm asking, I'm apologizing. And I also said, if you don't want to accept my apology, um, that's okay. Um, but um, if you do want to accept my apology, thank you. And I hope we can still be friends. And it's amazing how many people came back and said, wow, you got a lot you got a lot of balls to pay some, to post something like that. You do. You do. It's beautiful. I think that's the shredder's way too. You know, uh, Lenny has told me on multiple occasions and then Joyce, we're going to have to let you go in essence of time, but thank you so much. But Lenny has said on multiple occasions that the shredder's way is that we, you know, we, we try with these relationships. We, we make an effort. We, uh, you know, so that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Joyce. You are uh something i think you i are... earned my wings right shit man you're amazing i love it i love it I, I love you i love what you're all about i love how how you see the world and see things right now and i love the the i got the contrast like you've you've shared that with us physically emotionally mentally there's a pretty significant contrast here and that really does matter so thank you so much for being vulnerable and sharing that with all of us joyce we love you we thank you